Hi, my name is Taylor Thomas Smythe. I am an author, creator, and graphic designer. And today I'm going to be talking about IGTV or Instagram TV. If you're not familiar with this, it is those videos that sometimes you'll see scrolling through your feed and it will say, you know, tap here to watch the rest of this video um, on IGTV. IGTV videos are longer form videos, so they're greater than a minute long and they kind of live in a different part of your Instagram page. Um, you can set up them up to have a preview in your feed so it kind of works like your feed. That's probably the best practice as far as getting the most views and engagement for it um, because that lets them go straight to the video kind of in their normal scroll. Um, but you can also find these on a separate page of your Instagram account kind of by swiping over to the IGTV little TV icon. These are great for longer form content. So maybe you have like a full interview with someone that you wanted to share on your feed, um, interview with an author or an illustrator for your book if you're um, in publishing. I like to use that for book trailers, um, other content. Um, I recently did a series where we interviewed the illustrator of my books and kind of did that in two parts, um, both a couple minutes long and but separated it and kind of teased the next, you know, tune in next week for part two. And that's a great way to kind of keep people coming back to your account um, and back to your sort of brand um, if they can ex know what to expect. So I'm going to walk you through some of the things that I've learned and some of the things that I do when I'm setting up an IGTV video for my channel or my account. Um, so I'm gonna show you the walkthrough right here. And make sure you stick around to the end. I'm gonna share a little bonus tip of something that I've learned and wanna make sure you have that in your back pocket. So to upload IGTV videos, the best way to do that is on the desktop version of Instagram. You can also do it from the app, but I find it's best to go into the desktop version. So you're gonna to click to go to your profile up in the right corner and then under IGTV, click Upload. And when you're on this screen, you can just click this plus sign to drag and drop or find your video that you're working with. Um, I have it over here. So I'll drag it into this window and click Open. You can just drag it straight over there also. You don't have to go through that dialog, but and then you can see it loading here. And then you're gonna click onto the thumbnail or the cover, click edit to upload the file that you have created for that. I have one here. And uh, it'll be show you there that it got uploaded. Here you can add a title. This is also what will show as the beginning of the kind of caption if you show elect to post a preview in your feed, which is what that checkbox down there is. So I'm gonna type in a caption. Uh, I have a description that I I'm using in a YouTube video, so I'm just going to jump over there and copy Command C that and paste it, Command V into the description, and it'll be right there. One of the great things about that is links are clickable in the description, so use that to your advantage. Post a preview means it will show in your feed if you have that checked. And I'm going to save this as a draft. You can also post it right there and it'll go ahead, but I'm saving it as a draft. Um, it says it's uploading, wait for this window. You'll see on the bottom left, it says it's preparing the video, will notify you when it's ready. And then also on that thumbnail, it shows that. So it should be ready once those, those little bars go away. And you can click on it to come back to it. Click edit video to revisit the draft. Some of your things are changeable here and other things are like the preview checkbox is gone. You can post it right away or you can save draft again. One interesting thing that I've learned is if you had, che un if you had not checked the preview box, um, but then you saved it as a draft. When you go to post it, it will actually still post a preview and like it'll act like you had it checked. So just something to watch out for. Um, you might have to go back and delete it if you know if it showed there and you want it. So this is how it will show in your feed and on IGTV. And if you click on it in the desktop version, it looks like this. And you can kind of see you know just how it looks as it's playing. Um, notice on the right, you can see how the caption displays. That was your title there, but it shows as a caption. Now let's jump over to the app and just kind of show some screenshots of where it shows up in there. See, it's in the IGTV. Interesting, the title got cut off, so be careful about how many characters um, you have in there. See also these bold letters show that it's a link that's clickable, um, which is great. It pops up an internet window and goes straight to that link if you have it. Um, you can see how it shows up in the feed. That's the preview. Um, this is kind of how it shows up if you just scrolled upon it. Again, see the title is now part of the caption 
just interesting to note um, as you're kind of planning things out. And someone can click watch IGTV video to pop it up into the kind of full screen view. So kind of jumping over to InDesign, this is where I have been doing a lot of my posts, like just designing them. Um, this right here is a series of three posts and the one on the right is my kind of where my IGTV thumbnail will appear in the feed. And in that white box, I, you know, will add the video. Um, this is one I, I posted already. This is actually one I messed up on because I hadn't kind of learned everything about this. Um, but one thing I noticed is when you upload an IGTV thumbnail, kind of with just the normal specs, it will sort of cut off some of the edges of this um, shape, depending on where you are showing it. Pretty much everywhere it displays, it'll cut off a few of the pixels. So I kind of reverse engineered. I took a screenshot of like a finished, um, you know, a finished thumbnail and kind of reverse engineered to see how much space does it actually need to show up because I needed my post to, you know, be seamless here. So, you know, from this post to this post that these things all kind of lined up. I um, mean, it didn't quite do that. I was a little bit off um, and I really wanted this to look, you know, nice and cohesive. So I created this thumbnail. So this shape is kind of the recommended size of the thumbnail, um, which would have had these edges would have got matched up with these edges. And then I knew the top and bottom would cut off because it's a different ratio, obviously. Um, but then I just created a new template and you can kind of drag this down as long as you keep it centered, you know, in top and bottom, it will show you kind of, this is the extra space you need to fill in and then export this image as your actual thumbnail and I added, you know, filled this in, not white, you know, on the final version, this is kind of a working version. And these are just some, some layers that I had to kind of show myself where, um, you know, stuff was, um, but yeah, just in case that helps you to know the sizing can be a little tricky. I will post the kind of sizes that I use, um, of these diff three different kind of things here. So that hopefully that'll help you. And then I also um, will put a link to download a version of this documents for InDesign um, in case that helps you um, in your own kind of design work. So that's kind of the general walkthrough. I hope you found that helpful. If there's other questions you have, please let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see and I'll be happy to work on another tutorial or answer your questions there. Uh, I have a bonus tip for you and that is um, to kind of, this phrase, work smarter, not harder. I almost said it backwards. Work harder, no, work smarter, not harder. And what that means is you can get a lot of mileage out of one video um, if you kind of either trim it up into different parts, you can post those as separate posts and get kind of multiply your engagement there. Um, one of the things that I do is I will create a version of my video for IGTV, but then kind of just duplicate the same thing over to YouTube and kind of tweak it. Um, I like to make my IGTV videos in the vertical format because that takes advantage the most of the format of the phone, which is where people watch those on primarily. Um, and that takes a little bit of extra work in planning your footage to make sure it displays well in a vertical format. But I've, I think that's the most effective best practice as far as I've learned. If you, wanted to, if you wanted to make your job really easy, you can do it in horizontal. Um, if someone is viewing from certain parts of the app, it will, you can press a button or turn your phone and it'll flip the video horizontal so you can watch it that way and still kind of take up the full frame. But if you want it to kind of go with the default flow that people are scrolling through their phone on, which is in the vertical way, um, it can be a good idea to orient your video in a vertical portrait mode format. So that's just a quick bonus tip. Um, it takes a little bit of extra work, but not as much as you know, creating a whole separate video and trying to do content for multiple channels that are like totally different. So I will kind of just tweak things slightly, but then distribute it out on multiple formats and make sure that it um, fits that medium. Um, so 
I hope you found this helpful. Tune in next time. I'll be sharing more tips about marketing your book online and through social media. So stick around. And if you'd like to learn more about my books and the writing that I do, you can sign up for my email list. The link will be in the description below. Um, you can also check out my website, www.ttsmythe.com, or the website for my current book series, which is www.kingdomofflorida.com. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Taylor Thomas Smythe. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be posting more videos like this, so that'll keep you in the loop on any future videos. And if you have any questions about any of these things, um, I can do my best to answer them in the comments, so please feel free to drop those below, and I'll get back to you.